Hello world, I'm Zenit and welcome back to the Intelligence Hack the Box Let's Hex walkthrough thingy. Uh, it looks like this thing is gonna take a while to crack, but we can try something else, which is a silver ticket attack. Where we can... So I got the help in here and I've tried to figure out how to make this thing work. So we're gonna try to get to impersonate the administrator using the hash we just gathered. I'm not sure if the SPN, the way, come on. I'm not sure the SPN is correct the way I entered it in here because I've never used this tool, but that's great because I'm learning a bunch of new stuff. I'm hoping, I think the next machine should be a Linux machine again because then I don't look like such an idiot. Let's try this. Okay, so it's trying to go to 80. Can I tell him, can I tell him to go to port 80? Because we know for a fact that port 80 is open. Okay, it still goes to 88. Name or service not known. Um, let's look at this, get ST, SPN. Okay, this is telling me absolutely nothing. Am I using the right one? Maybe maybe let's just keep the SPN. I'm not sure if we need that. I just wanted something where I can pass the IP that we're trying to use. Because, yeah. Ah. The DC, DC IP. Here it is. The cat target IP. Following arguments are required. SPN. DC.intelligence.htb. Clock skew to great. Okay, so it seems that we have a problem with our time server. So it seems like the time server of the DC is has another time than the time that we have on our local machine. We got to fix that. So let's look up Kali update time to NTP server, something like this. I think there should be a tool called Kali NTP update. Yeah, maybe something like this will help us. How to set the time NTP. We're interested in NTP where we can pass a. We want something where we can set the time to one on the on a server. How do we do that in Linux? How do we do that? Hmm. Hmm. Here we have how to synchronize system time in Linux. NTP update. All right. Let's let's get this. Let's install it. Sudo. Oh, am I still running updates in the background? Oh, come on. I was still running up in the background. Are you kidding me? I thought this, this has gone through. Okay, so hang on. I'll be right back. All right. Now that the update is done, finally, I can continue on with what we were doing before. So the time has been set correctly, hopefully now. And we can just run this command again. And now we should get either another error Okay, the clock skew is too great. I thought this was supposed to fix it. Maybe I need to... Do I have crony installed? Is, is, is NTP set to through and everything? Um, can I... 
uh, status. NTP service active. Cool, cool, cool. Now, how to synchronize install NTP server, then connect to the NTP server. System clock synchronized should be yes instead of no. Mm, okay, this is another problem. Let me just check this again. Is it synchronized? <sighs> synchronized. No. Come on, Linux. So let's check. Oh, okay, I need a dash U. That makes sense. But why wasn't it in the first tutorial? Can the makers of the tutorial please coordinate with the other makers of the other tutorials so that... That it... Okay, it's still not synchronized. What's happening? Okay. 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 Something happened. I'm not sure what, <laughs> but something happened. Hmm. Uh, Kerberos principle unknown. Server not found. In Is it the right user? Is it the right? svc underscore int right that should be the correct one this is the hash do i need do i need the colon or without the colon and maybe hang on let's check this down detector okay there is nothing Special, maybe we can add something like DNS in front of it or <sighs> shut up here. Mm. Or the www. Okay, the www one did seem to work. So this is basically just the service, I think. I'm not so sure, as said, Lin uh, Windows is not my strong suit, but we seem to have a, we seem to be able to impersonate the administrator and we have the ticket saved in our hash. This should allow other tools of Impacket to use it. And so we can, actually act as if we were an administrator and i think that's all we're gonna do for this episode i hope you're excited for the next one i think it's gonna be the last one so see you there bye bye